This video shows how to make a Salesforce OAuth connection in IACS Administrator. I am Faraz Hussain, Technical Support Engineer in Informatica. The agenda of this video is to create a successful Salesforce OAuth connection in IACS and to generate the below connection properties to make the connection successful. Now let's get started. In order to download the refresh token, we will need a utility tool to get this refresh token. You can get this tool at the marketplace.informatica.com. We will add this URL in the description of this video. Now give the details over here and accept the condition and click the submit button. As I already downloaded this, when you download this, you will get this folder OAuth. Now go inside this folder and go inside the con folder. You will get the server.xml. Now open it and go in the connector section. You will get this key store file path. We need to give this path where this mystore.jks is present. By default, it comes under the OAuth folder. You need to copy this path and paste it over here. Now save this file and come back to the OAuth folder. Now go inside the bin folder. You will get this catalina.bat file. Now open the CMD in this location and run the catalina.pat file. As you can see, startup.catalina.start. So, now you can go to your browser and you will need this URL. Now paste it in the web browser and hit enter. You will get to see this step where you will need to give this client ID and secret ID. As you have already taken this consumer key and consumer secret key from the Salesforce, going further, how to create this consumer key and consumer secret key? You need to go in your Salesforce app. Go inside the apps under the app manager. You need to create a new connected app. As I already created my app, you can see this info underscore new app. This is connected. Click on this drop down, go inside the view. You will get this manager consumer detail section. Click on this. You will get a verification code at your given email. Then you will get to know your consumer key and consumer secret key. Now come back to this tab to give these credentials. Now copy this consumer key. over here and copy the consumer secret key and paste it over here. As a login URL, you can copy this and paste it over here and click on submit. As you can see, the refresh token is generated. Now get all the details in your notepad for the future preferences. Now come back to the ICS login page. There will be an administrator section. Open the administrator. Go inside the connection and click on the new connection tab. Now give the connection name.
and select the type as Salesforce. Now select the runtime environment and select the connection type as OAuth. As we have already got our consumer key and consumer secret keys, now copy this key and paste it over here and copy the secret key and paste it over here. As we already download the refresh token, now get the refresh token and paste it over here. Now, now the test connection is working fine. So that's how we learned how to make the successful Salesforce OAuth connection in the IACS administrator. Moving to the next part, while making the connection, you may face some possible issues while making the connection Salesforce OAuth in the ICS. While you run the Catalina.pad in the CMD, you may get this error that the address port is already used by some other application. In order to avoid this error, you need to go in the server.xml file. You will see this server port. So instead of this number 8050, you need to change this port number within the range of four digits. As according to the error, your port which on you are running the Catalina.bat is already used. So you need to use the other port to make it run successful. Now coming back, sometimes your Java homes are not set properly in the runtime environment. So you can face the other problem with the Java home also. In order to avoid this situation, you can go the installation directory of your SQL agent and get the path of the JDA. Copy this and paste it in your runtime environment and set your Java home pointing to the JDK. We will give the reference links to download the utility tool as well as the KB which will help you to make this connection easily. This is all about making the connection successful. We would love to hear you if you have the further queries you can contact us on support videos at the rateinformatica.com and you can contact us on the Twitter handle also. Thanks.